we now have a situation where social media, uh, you know, is is filled with communication around our products, and that's a complete new uh, for us. We are focused on uh, educating physicians. Uh, in most countries, we cannot do uh, direct to consumer advertisement, and uh, in all countries, it's really important for us. We get physicians to understand which products are approved for, for type 2 diabetes, which are approved for obesity, what's the mechanism, and how should they be used. And when we see at, uh, you know, get data from insurance companies, etc., we can see the profile of, of those who use our medicines. We can see that they are, uh, on average, people with a very high uh, BMI, uh, well above uh, 30. So that is actually also the approved label. So we feel, feel comfortable about uh, that it is people uh, in need of uh, of medical intervention to treat yeah. uh, you know serious obesity situations but, but you've become such a phenomenon and there you know there are memes and you're right that it's all over social media and some are saying look the, the problem with this is that it could actually lead to more eating disorders and this is probably because of the increase in social media what do pharma companies do can they do anything to, to kind of balance this yeah, I think we uh, we have quite spent some time on understanding what what does this uh, mean, what's uh, what's the breadth of it, and uh, we come to realize that we cannot control social media. We uh, we try to be present and uh, get our messaging in, but then all our medicines they take a physician writing a script. So we really uh, focus on the physician to make sure that they understand what are the mechanisms, uh, who are uh, the appropriate patients, uh, what's the label. And uh, then uh, I think we have to also trust that the physicians, they do what is right for, for their patient. And uh, they should for sure, for sure not prescribe for, for people living with uh, eating disorders.